Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate clicking on that video as always. And we are back with another weekly ways video where I go over all seven fragrances that I wore every day last week. So if that's content that you think you wanna see more of, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that bell notification so you are updated whenever I upload a new video. But without further ado, let's jump right into the list, starting with Sunday. On Sunday, I went with a fragrance that could be, well, is one of my favorite fragrances from this particular house scent i am talking about is chanel's allure home sport o extreme great atomizer on here smells fantastic in the air this one's hyped very hyped especially by youtubers talked about quite a bit but it's worth the hype this smells fantastic it smells very much like Alorum Sport with some added tonka bean. It's heavier on the tonka, so you get a little bit more of this vanilla touch to it. It's a little bit more powdery and it's a little bit more heavy on your skin. It does run the risk of being a bit cloying on really hot days, but I also think that's what gives it its versatility. And by versatility, I mean it's a perfect fragrance to wear sort of transitionally from day to night. Those are my favorite scents and this does that beautifully. Most of the sweetness in here comes from that mandarin orange. It comes from that tonka bean, but it's balanced really nicely with some black pepper and some green leafy mintiness. Massive compliment getter for me. It, I think that's one of the things that is not an over-exaggeration when this pops up on compliment getter lists and most complimented and guaranteed compliment lists on YouTube. This does get compliments because it's so likable, it's so easy to like, and it smells fresh and just invigorating, a little bit sweet, just the right amount of sweetness. Beautiful scent. The only thing it lacks is performance for me. Anyways, it doesn't, I don't feel like it lasts all day, but what I do get from this is a little bit of nose blindness. So even when I can't smell it anymore, if I am in close with someone or I give someone a hug, they can still smell, smell me. They'll still compliment me for my scent. And this is what I'm wearing. Just incredible stuff. Alorum Sport, O Extreme. So I just did a video on this, uh, is it still worth it video in 2023. So if you guys didn't watch that video, I will be sure to link it here. But the scent I am talking about is Nautica Voyage. Now, there's a reason why this has such a large dent in it is because this thing is really easy to grab and wear in pretty much any situation. Like I said in that video, not a great atomizer. I know some of you guys commented that your atomizer is great on here. I'm not so lucky. And a lot of you guys like this fragrance for the same reasons I do, which is its uniqueness, its versatility, its overall smell, and of course, the price of this. You're gonna get this, in most cases, under $20. I'll be sure to link it down below. But this is a staple in a lot of you guys' collections. A lot of your favorite from the line, in addition to my being my favorite, there's a lot of flankers, and a lot of those flankers are, are available at a deep discount as well. But I don't think those are necessarily better than this. For me, this is the best one. To really put it simply, this is a fruity, green, woody, aquatic scent. Clean, out of the shower type smell, easy to pull off and it just smells great. It's unique. It's not like your typical shower gel and broxen heavy blue fragrance. It's not that type of clean. Almost reminds me a bit of something like a hair gel, like a really nice smelling hair gel, if that makes any sense. Fantastic performance. This lasts all day on me and days on my clothes. So I do tend to spray this a bit heavy. It's surprising for a fresh fragrance. And as I said, I can imagine this being worn. I wear this a lot in the gym. So if you guys work out, easy throw in your gym bag, smell great uh, working out. You're not gonna offend anyone and it just works. It's just one of those scents that is pleasant and a lot of people are gonna like this one. Nautica Voyage. So this next one, in my opinion, is comes from a house that is sort of synonymous with cheapy value. They're approaching sort of that legend status in terms of their fragrances because you can usually find them for around the 20 to $25 price point. This one I got on discount below $20, but it can still be had for around $19.99 in most places. 
and this is just a fantastic scent for the price. The scent I am talking about is Black Walnut Legend from Banana Republic. So I know there's a lot, wow, smells so good in the air. Quality is there too, smells really nice, doesn't smell cheap or synthetic. Of all the Creed Aventus dupes that I've smelled, the clones, all of them, this is the closest to my bottle of actual Creed Aventus in the opening. That fruity, musky opening is damn near identical to my bottle of Creed Aventus. It's hard for me to say that because I spent a lot of money on my Creed Aventus. However, this lacks in the projection, this lacks in the overall performance, and ultimately the life of the fragrance doesn't, they, they start to drift in different directions. This goes more soapy clean on my skin, but that opening is stunning. The fruit woods and musk that I mentioned, it's masculine, but it's not in your face. I think this is the perfect scent for someone like a student or someone who works in a, maybe a cubicle or close quarters in an office with a lot of people. This is sitting closer to your skin, but it smells incredible and it's really versatile and it's cheap. And I think there's a place in every collection for a scent like that. That's this for me. I, I mean, I wear this to bed sometimes when I just, if I'm fresh out of the shower before bed and I just wanna put on one of my fragrances. I own a lot, so some people think it's strange to wear a fragrance to bed. I don't personally think it's strange. I think it would be strange to wear like a beast mode fragrance to bed. But again, that's not this. It just smells really clean and it really is mood enhancing because of the smell is great. It's, I love it. So Black Walnut Legend from Banana Republic. So on Wednesday, I went with probably one of my favorite designer releases of 2022. I know it was a lot of you guys' favorite as well. And I was surprised by this. It's probably my favorite from the house at the moment. Scent I am talking about is Ralph's Club Parfum from Ralph Lauren. I like this one more than I like the EDP. This just smells far more natural to me. It's gonna remind you of other things. It's gonna, to, to me, this is a blend of something like a YEP, mix in a little bit of Hawass and a dollop of Abercrombie and Fitch's first instinct together. It's in that sort of fruity, sweet, musky, warm weather type scent. This is a little bit more versatile to me though. And this is more refined than those fragrances. It, it, it gives it a mature, it's sort of like in a mature angle to those fragrances that I mentioned. Those others can be very youthful. They can come across as youthful. This adds a refinement that I just can't quite put my finger on. Maybe it's the naturals of it, that how natural smelling it is in the opening. It could be that, but I also think the perfumer did a fantastic job of having restraint when he was making this. It's not too sweet, but it has just enough sweetness to really be satisfying and, and catch your attention. This is really an average performer overall on me. Has pretty good projection for the first hour or so, and then it sits closer to the skin. But I really imagine this as being a go-to for a lot of guys. If you only had one fragrance in your collection, this could be it. Because you can wear this to work, you can wear this out with friends, you could wear this on a date. It's really refined, put together, and I think decently priced for what you're actually getting here. Nice presentation. And, you know, Ralph Lauren is, a brand that I think for many is held in some high regard in terms of from the designer uh, side of things. Uh, and as I, again, from a fragrance standpoint, they've had some duds, but this for me was a quality release overall. I like this one. Ralph's Club Parfum from Ralph Lauren. So these next two fragrances I'm gonna be talking about were part of my most recent rack store haul. And the first one I wore this week to give a little more uh, test time to was Perry Ellis Night. And a couple of you guys had mentioned this one a few times to keep an eye out for it, that you really liked this scent. It was a nice little cheapy. I wanna say I paid $19.99 for 100 mLs. Really nice atomizer. And in that video, I was reminded quickly 
of Carolina Herrera's 212, men. And it's very similar in the top. Lavender, citrus, really clean, a little bit of green, very reminiscent of that scent. And, but where this changes is in the, its mid. So in the mid, it becomes more fruity, more fruit heavy, more a little bit more musky, less green. Uh, but then after the mid, they the dry downs are very similar. So I, my overall opinion of this scent is that if you already own something like a Carolina Herrera 212 Men, it would be redundant to own this as well. I do own Carolina Herrera 212, so I would imagine this wouldn't get much wear in my collection. But overall, this is that scent on a budget because that scent is not cheap. Uh, it does pop up from time to time at rack stores. Uh, but on discounters, you know, you're probably paying a little more than cheapy territory. Sometimes you can get it around that $45 mark. So, but you're not going to find it much cheaper than that. This is a nice alternative to that for sure. Really nice bottle, heavy, uh, nice quality. I like the matte black finish. Average longevity, but this is one that's easy to overspray, just like the Carolina Herrera. Easy to overspray, not going to offend anyone super clean smelling lots of lavender in that dry down nice scent nonetheless and Perry Ellis, you know it's a house that doesn't get a lot of talk when we're talking about cheapies it does come up from time to time portfolio elite i have that in my collection one of my favorite fragrances and Perry Ellis night nice addition for many especially if you're on a tight budget Perry Ellis night so the second fragrance from that fragrance haul is this next one. I'm actually doing a giveaway. So if you're interested in that giveaway, be sure to check out the video. I'll link it here. And the rules of that giveaway are in the description of that video. But the scent I am talking about is Blue Cedar and Cypress from Cremo. Now, a lot of you guys are a fan of Cremo and I can see why. This is a really nice scent. When I wore it, the day I wore it, um, shortly after I put it on, I just sort of been walked by my wife in the kitchen and she said, you smell like Abercrombie. And I can see that. It has this metallic sort of feel similar to what you would get from an Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. Where I think this is different is the Cypress, the amped up Cypress in here. It's more green, a little bit sharper, a little bit more metallic, giving it this 90s masculine mature vibe to it slightly old school vibes but not in a bad way really clean woody green fresh aromatic with a splash of citrus and you're gonna smell great i mean you're gonna smell put together like you know what you're doing this is kind of a timeless scent in my opinion might smell a little dated to the younger guys but if you grew up in the mid to late 90s and were already wearing fragrance at that point this is gonna spark something in you. It's gonna remind you a bit of some of those fragrances from the 90s. This lasted all day on me with surprising quality. Didn't really smell synthetic, smell cheap to me. And this was mega cheap. This was like 13 bucks for 100 ml. I was able to again, find this at Burlington. And I think this would fit any age range. It's not particularly youthful. Some of those others are, that I talked about, the 90s fragrances like Fierce that can come across a bit youthful, but where again, this is amped up green cypress, uh, it makes it lean a little bit more vintage, old school barbershoppy type stuff. So I really like this one and I'm excited to give it away to one of you guys. So Blue Cedar and Cypress from Cremo. Finally on Saturday, I wore a fragrance that I absolutely love. I'm super excited about this particular house and I'm excited to see what they have in store later this year. You know, I don't know when their next fragrance is being released. They have trouble keeping stuff in stock because it's so popular. Uh, but right now, this particular fragrance is in stock. The scent I am talking about is High Times from Emasi. This stuff, guys, is so good. Great 
10 mil decant, by the way, fantastic sprayer. The brand says this is an homage to 1970s New York, and that's not the fragrances of 1970s. They want you to sort of envision the steel being used that built the World Trade Center in 1973, or the infamous Studio 54, just sort of these iconic things that you associate with New York. Super high quality and expensive ingredients used in here, 25% oil concentration, rose, frankincense, tobacco, cocoa, leather are some of the notes that bless this thing. And it is just incredible. So unique smelling, different than anything I have in my collection. It's bold, it's sexy, it's captivating. The only thing I would struggle with with this scent is finding the right occasion to wear it because it does feel that special to me. It's not something that I would wear every day. Not that you couldn't wear it every day, but it is just so unique and different that I find myself wanting to save this one. I wanna save it for special occasions and wearing it in those moments where maybe I want that particular night to be memorable. And this is a great, I would say, cold weather scent, cooler weather scent. But I think, you know, even on, uh, if you go lighter on the sprays, you know, in a warmer evening, it's gonna work night out. Uh, it's just so intriguing. They do have, it, at the moment, it's only available in this 10 uh, milliliter decant. They also offer, I want to say it's like for six bucks, you can get a two mil sample from the website. I'm going to link everything down below. And I'm also going to include my discount code, which will save you guys 5%. If you want to experience any of the other fragrances they have in their collection, they're just fantastic. And again, I'm super excited to see what else they have in store at Masi. But wore it on Saturday, high times. That's all I have today, guys. As always, let me know in the comment section down below what your weekly rotation was because I love seeing what you guys are wearing. It gives me ideas of what my next pickup might be. If you like what you saw today, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit that bell notification so you are updated whenever I upload new content. But until then, have a fantastic week and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.